we have Steve here running around in Unreal Engine 5, and on the press of a button he does the dance of his people. But we want to spice things up with NM notifiers. Just follow me back here. So I prepared this animation for running right here. And this is speeding up so we can loop and see his animation. But when I go here, click and hit the spacebar, he stops. And then I can drag with this arrow whenever I want. Now, let's say I want to play a sound whenever his footstep lands. We can do that with NM notifiers. And here is notifies. So this is track one. And while I'm in this track, right click, you can add a notify. You see it is not appearing here, so I need to be here on this track. So right click, add notify. And you can see a bunch of different things that we can do. For example, I'm going to choose play sound right here. And there are a bunch of different things that we can do. I already went ahead and I created a sounds folder. And this is the footstep sound. Not the greatest footstep sound, but it will do for this tutorial. Click here. You're now in the preview scene. Click details. And then you can select the sounds that you would like. So look for your sound name and then drags in. Now you can control C to copy because now when his other foot lands, I can control V and paste this right here. So now when the animation plays, we hear footsteps. Spacebar to uh, pause it again. And you can click save or just test this out with Alt P or just go to again. And Steve is walking around with footsteps feeling proud. Now another thing you can do is add another track, for example number two. And on this track you can add other things. So let's go something crazy just to show you. Right click, add notify, for example a particle effect. I already added the starter content, so have this selected in details. You can select the particle system, for example the explosion. So every time around here there will be an explosion, because Steve likes to take things dramatic. And if you think that is a bit dramatic, you can also scale this one down, for example 0.5. And then it is a bit smaller. Or you can also uh, choose location offset, so this is the z-axis, let's put it up 1 meter or 1 meter 50. And it's higher up, so around his head. So now when I'm back to my game. Now, this is not the greatest game development right here, but you get the point. Now, I found that somehow this didn't work with all the emitters, with all the uh, particle system effects, but this one does, and I hope yours uh, does as well. So, uh, with some it doesn't work. If some of you know it, let me down in the comment section below why some don't work. Okay, and by the way, you can also uh, remove the notify track, click delete and also remove the track itself and delete these if you don't need them. Another thing I can show you is, for example, right here, right click, add notify, and you can create a custom one of your own. So notify and um, let's name this text just for testing purposes. So now when I go to my event graph of my animation blueprint that I created earlier, you can right click and then look for anim and then text and you see event and I'm notified text because there's a name I gave it and then for example print string and let's type just running around and right now when he's running here on the left top corner when I'm beside the running you should see this looping just running around and you see this is repeating because right now here this animation is playing and every time this is triggered which is updated here in animation blueprint. So this is also cool things that you can do. And then a final one, so I'm going to delete this one because this is not needed. And a final one that I want to show you is I created here. Go back to my map where I uh, took my animations. I have his dance. So the dance of his people that I showed you earlier, he's doing this dance. I created an animation montage. So what you do is right click, create and a montage. And that's the one right here. And then in my event graph of my character, on the X button, he plays his montage and the mesh is this mesh right here. And I chose this one. What you now can do is every time when you add a notify, then you can do something. So for example, if you have an animation of a player attacking, every time the sword hits, it applies damage or something like that. 
but you can also just for testing purposes play sound and have something very special prepared for you so the f sound is the one that i need okay so whenever notify begins but this notify is a bit special so the notifies is right here and also on this first track right click add notify and now you can see montage notify because this is a montage that i called in my event blueprint okay and let's place it whenever he decides to go down this is important let's be very serious here Control c and then once more he does this again here and Control v okay so now this animation loops call play montage notify which is called upon here so uh, let's see what this does in my game engine so hit x there we go he's a bit gassy but i i know this is a bit ridiculous but just to show you the point of notifies just to spice up your game and make things more interesting on certain frames inside of your animation let's get rid of this now steve is fully healed right now and i hope you got something out of this anim notify tutorial for unreal engine 5.